Hello everyone. Today I will illustrate how to install and configure the Microsoft SQL Express and set up the function blocks in the Omron Machine Automation Controller MX102-1020 with the database feature to log the data to the Microsoft SQL. I am Tom Trin, Senior Application Engineer for Valen Corporation. Let's get started. So here's my setup. I have my uh, computer with the Microsoft SQL Server Express. And also, I am using the Omron Machine Automation Controller NX102-1020. At this point, I already create the uh, NJ SQL Express. So what I need to do next now is to go in the configure SQL network configuration and set up the protocol for the TCP IP and IP address. So this is how you do it. You would select the TCP IP. Once you click on that, you want to enable it. So you want to hit the arrow down and select yes. Next thing you want to do is select the NJ SQL Express in my example, select the TCP IP, and then scroll down to where the IP4, uh, the IP address you want to fill in here is the IP address of the computer running the SQL Express. My computer is 192.168.250. Dot 100. Also, you want to fill in the TCP port, and that should be 1433. You can you want to continue to scroll down until you see IPR, and then the TCP port, put in 1433 again, and then click OK. What you want to do next is to select the SQL server. Uh, NJ SQL Express, right mouse click, and you want to stop the service. And when you do that, this window will show up. You want to click yes. This window will show the status that it's stopping the uh, service. After it's stopped, you want to select that again, right mouse click it, and select start to restart the service. Then the window will show up, uh, showing it's starting the service again. Once you've done all that, the next thing we want to do is to launch the SQL Server Management Studio, and you need to run it as a administrator. Also, you need to make sure that your firewall is turned off, otherwise it will not work properly. Once you launch the SQL Server Management Studio, you will see this window. And this window will show up. And there you go, NJ SQL Express is the server name. You want to click Connect to connect it. And once it's connected successfully, you will see this new window. What you want to do next is select the database and then right mouse click and create new database. And in my example, I name it NJDB. You can name it wherever you like, but make sure you remember that because that's what you need to put it back in the configuration of the NX102-1020. Once you create that database, the new icon will show up here, NJDB. The next thing you want to do is select or expand the security and uh, select login, right mouse click and select new login. You give it a name. In my case, I have it a uh, Nick. And also you need to put in the password twice here. And then under default database, select NJDB. Once you've done that, uh, you're still in login, you select the server roles and make sure public is checked. What you want to do next is select user mapping 
and make sure you select NJDB uh, with the username Nick here and then select this three dots icon and this will show up and check name and make sure you have DBO here and then click OK and you will see the DBO now appear under default schema. What you want to do next is go down to the database role membership for NJDB and make sure you scroll down until you see uh, DB underscore data reader and DB underscore data writer. Make sure you check map on both of those. What you want to do next is to, um, in the securable, select search and this will show up. Make sure you select the server, you know, in your, my case is LT underscore time tree, you know, and J SQL Express, yours might be bidded, might be different, but this you want to uh, do next. Okay, and click OK. Once you've done that, it will show up here in the securable. And then um, down here, you want to scroll down until you see connect SQL and make sure you have a check mark there. So that's done uh, as far as the setup on the Microsoft SQL um, Express. What you want to do next is you want to launch your Sysmax Studio setup and go um, expand the DB connection and select the DB connection service setting and make sure these setup as this configure here. Uh, so you have the auto start on the operation mode, uh, execution log, do not record it, debug log, file size 10 megabyte, when the log is full, stop logging, select delete for delete the log at the uh, recording start. And then here, select the record for the SQL execution variant log. Okay, so make sure that this setting is set up correctly like this. The next thing you want to do is add the new DB connection. So right mouse click and then add. Once you add the new uh, DB connection, this will show up. You want to fill in the database type, which is SQL Server. The IP address here is the IP address of the SQL Express of the computer running that. And also remember 1433 that we uh, set up in the SQL Express. Make sure we have that. The service or database name is NJDB. Username is Nick. And then the password, you know, all this is what you created in the Microsoft SQL earlier. Once you've done all this, you can go online immediately and you can perform the test. And to do that, you just click on the communication test. And if you receive this test OK, you are connected to the Microsoft SQL. This concludes the installation and configuration of the Microsoft SQL Express and the configuration on the NX102-1020 machine automation controller using Sysmax Studio. The next video, we will illustrate all the function blocks, how to connect to the database, and also how to create a mapping to the table created in the database, as well as insert the data from the POC to the database. If you have any questions, please call the number below. And thank you for watching. <music>